Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In the last episode, we ended off, well, pretty much right around here. Except this place didn't look like it does now. Nope, I have a behemoth gate down, which it's not as easy to make as you might otherwise think it would be, just because it's so difficult to gather materials out here. And then, well, it was just a lot of work putting everything together. Actually, man, these fence foundations can probably go away. Uh, yeah, just as it so happened, I had to change some settings. Let me kind of show you what I'm talking about right here. This option right here, high quality materials. I had to turn that off because as I was trying to place the foundations, I literally couldn't see them because they were, well, they were pretty much under the snow. Now, I haven't turned that back on, obviously, but as it so happens, you can actually see everything, which is kind of nice, but I'll probably get around to turning that back on as soon as I remember. But one of the things I discovered as I was doing all this stuff is uh, I have a body in the compound, but you know, whatever, it's okay. Just the same, have a proper compound, even if it's on the small side, can actually land Big Bird in here, and I'm not too concerned about anything coming in and attacking him, and can open the gate up, and sure, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. I mean, look at that. That's about as tight a squeeze as it can get, right? That's pretty awesome but it does work, so just the same. I'm okay with that. It'll be a little interesting getting a T-Rex or something in here, but as long as I can make that turn and then kind of thread the buildings here, we're, we're not too bad. So let's just go ahead and get inside. It is actually a little chilly. It's only, well, take it back. It's only zero degrees. It's actually not that cold, but we need to grab some oil over here, and yes, I know I'm over encumbered. I'm going to deal with that. You don't worry about it, game. And somewhere around here, there we go. I was going to say I should have a bunch of hides. I'm going to go ahead and throw all of those in there. We're going to... Oh, man, I don't want to... Well, I do want to light the fire, but I don't want to leave that much wood in there because then it's all going to go to waste. So here, let me just go ahead and move all of that stuff out. And then I don't know how many I want to leave in there. We'll do uh, 16. That'll be fine. And we'll just let that create however much gasoline that creates. So we need to create a couple of things just before we can have this be a proper sort of building. I want to grab just one of those for right now. And I'm probably come to think of it. You know what? Here, let me grab something else right quick just because I think this will end up being necessary. We're going to grab all of that. It's not a ton of metal, but it's enough to get going. Part of the problem I have right now is this fur armor weighs so much that... It's actually a bit inconvenient trying to drag stuff from one location to another. So I'm going to go ahead and dump the ingots in there. There we go. 29 ingots in there. I'm going to put this guy in here, even though I don't really need it right now. And I still have one fence left over, one uh, wall rather. So let's go ahead and plug that hole. Just that'll, uh, that'll free up a pound or two for my inventory. Now, um... Yes, before we run back out again, because I'm going to be a little all over the place, I don't want all of that in there. In fact, I only want one in there. We're going to turn that on, and I'm going to let it make some electronics right now, because I want to go ahead and do that. And let's just put all of the gasoline in there, because I'm going to feel better about it being in there. And let's see, I didn't really have a chance to get many pearls. I only grabbed a few. It's, you know, not too far of a flyover to where they kind of spawn in that river area so that's just kind of what I do I just kind of cheat and go over there well I guess it's not cheating exactly but you know that's where I just go and grab them I only have enough crystals to make one lamp post which I did not realize so um why don't we go ahead and hop on big bird here and it won't be too big of a deal to fly down and grab some more crystals theoretically it won't be too big of a deal I do see a cat over there or a dog I'm not sure which you are you are neither. You're not a cat. You're not a dog. You are a Megaloceros. Let's go ahead and just pop right down here. That would be a cat in the water over there. Yeah, that one's definitely a cat. I'm just making sure there's no one else around here, that's all. Okay, that's six crystals. That's not really enough. I would actually like a few more. So we'll just go ahead and come around over to this spot, I believe. This will be fine. Like I said, it's actually not too far of a fly to grab some of this stuff. Which, I definitely appreciate that. It's uh, it's kind of nice in that regard, just because... Oh, a little trilobite, that's what that is. I was, sorry, I was trying to figure out what I was seeing over there. 
uh, just because, you know, I did spend so much time trying to get all this other junk that I wanted to, you know, at least kind of put a couple of things together that'll make this look a little bit more habitable, hospitable. I don't know, kind of take your pick. I mean, this still is really a mining outpost. This is not a proper location of any sort. I have never tried to do that. Can you, can you pick these guys up? You sure can't. I didn't think you could, but I thought I should try. I know we're getting close to where the cat was, but I figure it's probably taken off past the deer whatever thing. Deer moose type thing. 29. Oh, so close. I gotta at least grab one more then, because that'll let me make another three. Here we go. Seven. That's fine. I'm not going to get greedy. We're going to roll with that. And these things over here are just far, far too tempting because I might be able to get some additional pearls or something. And if not, then it does get me some additional chitin, which I can definitely use. And uh, yeah, they're all going to run away from me. I'm just going to load you up with some more meat. And I've actually been going through so much of it that I'm cooking it up. That's the other reason I'm doing this. I want to grab some extra meat. All right. You know what? fine. Good enough. I'm not going to worry about it. You guys, you live to fight another day. Yeah, I'm going to need to go ahead and cook some more meat up. Just like I said, I'm going through so much of it out here, even with all the fur armor and everything. Uh, well, this is actually the most temperate it's been. Negative three. That's, um, yeah, because it took a while to build all this. I, I don't know, several arc days, two, three arc days, something. I, I'm not 100% sure. It definitely took a while to build all of this stuff. So, yeah, you know, definitely got to make sure you have all of the materials you need. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the 19 right there. That'll be fine. And while I go ahead and get this going, we'll just check and see how the oil is going on in here. Gasoline into oil. Now, I'm pretty sure I grabbed a couple more. There we go. We'll load that guy up. Another six. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. So let's go ahead and... Uh, let's load this bad boy up with some meat, and then we're going to need some wood, so um, let's do 20. That'll be just about perfect for this guy, so we'll go ahead and let that cook it up. And before you know it, I'm going to end up going through all that food, too. Like I said, I've been cooking a lot of stuff up. I also had to go get some pelts, because uh, my stuff was getting, well, it wasn't getting a little mangled, but I had a couple more wolf attacks, and... Um, it wasn't too big a deal. I was able to take care of them, but, you know, still. All right, I'm going to need to... Let's see if I can move with that many. Oh, this is painful. Yeah, I should probably load Klaus up or something with all these crystals, but that's okay. I don't want to make those lampposts. No, no, no. I want to make the Omnis, because I like Omni. And we'll just grab these other 19, and then we'll go ahead and create this stuff. And we're going to place some lights, and then uh, we're going to give this building, this uh, mining outpost, just a really brief test run. And we're not going to go crazy with anything here. Um, sure, let's go ahead and make three of them. I, I don't really have enough electronics to make a bunch of them, so I guess getting those extra crystals wasn't really necessary. Oh, no, I'd already made one. That's right. Okay, so I was right. I can do four. And then... Um, I'm going to need some more outlets and things too, I presume. So for right now, we'll go ahead and grab, uh, let's grab maybe two of those. Hello, cat. I just got a massive headbutt. That was crazy. Let's go and get rid of this guy here. This is um, not going to be necessary anymore. We're just going to go and get rid of that one. Not a big fan of that. I don't know if this is going to reach all the way over here. Yeah, I didn't think you would. It's okay. I I just I kind of want to get these placed a little out of the way somewhere. That one's going to be fine. I know that one's going to reach. That one, uh, I'll just run some extra cabling somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go through the building or something. Uh, I don't know. I'll I'll worry about that another time. But I just I at least wanted to get started on that stuff. So. Just see what else we have going on in here. There's some electrical cables. I just saying, I don't know that I have, um, not composite, structure, electric. Can I do electrical? That's what I need. 
What does that require? Ingots? Yeah, I'm going to need more electronics. That's okay. We're not going to worry about that right now. I can still run one light. So why don't we go ahead and let's just drop off. I want to drop the shotgun off just because it's heavy. And then we can check the food too. I don't think it's going to be done. And I don't know why I ended up grabbing electronics out of... Hmm, I must have grabbed that earlier. I don't know. It's all turning into a blur. Okay, where are my shotgun shells? I'm just going to go ahead and put those in there. And I'm going to drop my narcotics. I'm going to drop my GPS off. Actually, you know what? I will hold on to that just in case I decide I need that. You never know. Uh, crystals. Why do I still have crystals on me? I, I should have dropped all of those off. You know, let's go dump that stuff off because this all weighs stuff. You need to go away too. I, I don't know why I was holding those things. And then we should be good to go here for just, like I said, a, a little test run just to see how this all works. I mean, kind of have done it before in a sense, but uh, now that everything is a little more proper, I'd like to give it one more whirl just to make sure that this is going to work out okay. And then what I'll probably do is I will start bringing various creatures over here because I think that'll be a good idea. It'll help free some of the lag at the main base. And then uh, maybe I could, I don't know, bring all the Dilos over here or something. I'm not quite sure who I want to bring over here. Maybe Raptors, all of the Raptors, some of the Raptors. I'm really not sure at this point. I'm going to have a lot of options. Maybe we can bring the Mega over here. There's that Quetzal. Saw that on the last one, I think. Let's just see if you are still level 1. I can never find anything. There we go. I'm curious. If you only have a level 1 Quetzal, how is it going to get a level? It's not landing to eat. I've never seen one of those things land. Maybe I've just not waited around long enough, but it sure doesn't seem like they're really going to find ways to get experience, so I don't know. I just I wonder about that. Oh, those birds are just wrecking that mammoth. Looked like there were a couple of wolves down there, too. There's at least one wolf. Okay, I don't want to mess with too much of those guys right now, so why don't we go ahead and just go up over here. We'll go to this side. This will be fine, I think. I think I'll be able to tell what are the metal rocks versus what are normal rocks. I sure hope so anyway, because, you know, it is a little difficult to see when everything is covered in snow. We're just going to hope this is metal. There we go. The funny thing is, I believe this guy's already holding some metal. Maybe not. Maybe I already took it off of him. I might have. I think I did. Good. I was smart. I think I took it off of him. So that one is good. Let's go ahead and uh, let's try this one. No, you are flint. It's all right. I can actually use some more flint. I was bemoaning my lack of flint in the last one. Here's more flint. Okay, that's not really what I was looking for. But again, I can use more flint. I'm really not too upset by that. Oh, we have a wolf that I apparently cannot hit. Wolf, you're about to die, and I'm going to die too. Dang it. I sure hope that my bird can hear me from here. Good. He can hear me from here. Ah, that was really too close for comfort there. All right. Before we are all done here, I actually would like to go ahead and uh, chop this wolf body up so I can get some additional pelts. I'm kind of stuck on Big Bird. I thought that might end up being the case. Okay, can I... You know it would be really nice? If you could just pick up corpses... Like, just do that, and then boom, you can carry that wolf corpse. That would actually be super handy right now. Okay, I think this will be fine. Here we go, get some pelts, and we can go ahead and fly back up here. I knew that was going to happen at some point. I knew I was kind of pressing my luck, just because, you know, we saw all sorts of creatures nearby. So we knew that some bad things could happen, but that's okay. I could see the tiger stripe on this one, so I know this is metal. Go ahead and just take that, and one of the bad things about all of this right now is that, well, one, this is not my bird that is designed to carry as much as he possibly can. That's actually Skywalker. She is nothing but a weight bird, so she is all about carrying as much weight as possible. 
but that's okay. Big Bird is not loaded up right now, and there's a body nearby, I think. So I'm seeing the little... It's not smoke, but that's kind of what it makes me think of. I mean, not... But the other bad part with all of this is I have to wear so much heavy stuff that it kind of weighs me down, and I have to basically drop everything off after one, one journey. Which is okay. I mean, what I was doing before is basically just getting as much as I can, running over to my bird, getting as much as I can, running over to my bird. Same sort of thing, except in those instances, uh, I haven't been wearing my fur, so I've just been dealing with going through a ton of food and losing my health and trying to fly away before things go really, really poorly. Let's just go ahead and grab one more... One more if we can find one without going too far. I'm sure I'm passing up several. There we go. I see some over here. All of these guys are fine. It's also just taking a quick tour to see what else is around, you know? If I'm going to have another wolf come visit me, then I'd like to be prepared for it. That's all. Let's go ahead and eat all those. You can have all that. You can hold all that. And uh, since there are a couple nearby, we'll just do this one too. Ah, uh, your flint. With a touch of metal, I grabbed the wrong one. And I grabbed the wrong one again. It's all right. That's okay. That one's metal. See? That one's metal. And I'm going to be so loaded up, I'm not going to be able to move. Nope. Can't move. Good. So let's go ahead and drop all this stuff off. I am keeping all these stones because I can use them another time. Even if I don't need them right now. Uh, nope. My poor bird is way down. He can't fly. Guess what? You're going to drop all those stones. I will worry about grabbing more another time. Oh, look at that. He is barely flying. You know what? Drop another... Here, why don't you go ahead and... I can't do that. Can't break him apart? Fine. I'll they... they all go then. That's just... so be it. I can hatch it up some more rocks another day. That's not a big deal. Just go ahead and fly down over here. Should be... thinking a little over around this way. I don't know, I kind of got turned around once I went flying off the mountain there. Maybe uh, this way a little more, or this way a little more. Yeah, there we go. That'll that'll work. Something like that will work. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm a little further over here. It's nice and quiet now, finally. Crazy weather is... Nope, crazy weather is starting again. Well, oh well, you know... It can't all be sunshine and rainbows. Man, I went a little further than I thought I did, apparently, because maybe I'm uh, not going... Oh, you know what? I'm down here. That's what it is, I think. Ever since this area has changed, I find myself getting lost around here a little more. Yeah, see? It's right in there. It just, it looks so different to me that I don't recognize, even though it pretty much is the same geometry. It's not quite the exact same, but it's pretty close. I kind of get lost for where I'm at up here, so I think I just need to spend more time out here, and that would kind of solve that problem, at least in part. But we can go ahead and land down here. That way I can just kind of run this stuff in. And yeah, I'm going to have to do it a little bit at a time because I just can't carry that much. Although I suppose I could drop some of my armor right now for just a quick run. That wouldn't be too big a deal to do that. But I think we can see this is going to work out pretty well. I mean, this part is a little painful right here. But, you know, like I said, it's uh, there's always going to be some sacrifice with doing all of this. I could go to other areas maybe and try and find metal that way. But this is a really good area for metal, so this is why I kind of like it. And since I started this long ago anyway, I thought I should at least try and finish it. So I think we can cross this one off the list, the mining outpost, even though there are always opportunities for improvement. I'm going to go ahead and say the mining outpost. At this point, it's pretty much done, and I think I can walk with all of these. Uh, oof. Not by much, but I can. So we're going to go ahead and cross the mining outposts off the list, and then, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll update you a little more once I kind of have an idea of what sort of stuff I'm getting, or uh, what 
dinosaurs I'm going to move out here, that sort of thing, because I would like to relocate some of them, if for no other reason than, like I said, to give myself a little bit more breathing room with being able to, oh, I don't know, walk around and not have everything lag out on me, because that is a little frustrating, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode just for kicks. You know what? Why don't we go ahead and fire up the generator, because then we can go ahead and turn on the Omni light. There we go. So I'm just going to let that go. I'll probably actually take all of these gasoline cans out. I, I don't really want it to use all of those just yet. This isn't really... Mm, I, don't, I just I don't want to have everything going just yet. It'd be easier to load up one of these torches with a ton of wood and just kind of leave them burning like that to, you know, so I can know where everything is. But for now, I do need to call it an episode, so I will see you on the next one, I hope. So uh, till then, thanks for watching. See you later.